Welcome to Tech Tips. I'm Len Groom. Today we're talking about Amsoil Dominator Coolant Boost. Now, Coolant Boost, when you think about it, is something that you'd put in your cooling system to help reduce operating temperatures. That's what you see many of these different additives advertised as. We want to reduce your operating temperature. But what about cold weather? What about warming your vehicle up faster? Amsoil ran some testing to take a look at both of these different areas. How can we help reduce the engine's operating temperature and how can we help warm it up faster? Believe it or not, those two things relate. Let's check it out. Amsoil Dominator Coolant Boost utilizes a proprietary tiered surfactant technology. Now that's a mouthful, but really all the surfactant does is it reduces the surface tension of water and antifreeze and it allows better contact with the metal surface. This closer contact, it increases the coolant's efficiency and remember, the coolant is in charge of transferring the heat away from hot engine parts. Many leading coolant additives contain just one surfactant, and that means that their temperature range of effectiveness is very limited. Amsoil's Dominator Coolant Boost uses a tiered surfactant technology. Surfactants are temperature sensitive, and each one of them has a very specific operating range. Take a look at this graphic. Graphic A illustrates the operating range of the Dominator Coolant Boost. As you can see, it's broken into three tiers. Tier one is your low temperatures. This would be your cold startup of your engine. Tier two would be a medium temperature or your transition tier. That means that the engine is starting to warm up and approach operating temperature. Tier three is your high temperature. This is racing temperatures. This is hot, busy, traffic jam type of temperatures that your vehicle is going to see. Coolant Boost is capable of providing this increased efficiency all the way across all of these different temperature bands indicated here. At Amsoil, we test everything. And graphic B outlines the results of a test we ran in our mechanical test facility. Generally, when your antifreeze reaches 120 degrees, you feel heat coming from the defroster. We tested the time it took to run the coolant from 30 degrees to 120 degrees. And you can see the results here. Coolant without coolant boost took 6.3 minutes Coolant treated with Coolant Boost only took 3.2 minutes to get to 120 degrees. That's a 49% improvement over untreated antifreeze. Now we talked about tiered surfactants. So the temperature to run from 30 to 180 in an untreated system was 11.4 minutes. When we treated it with Coolant Boost, it reduced that time down to 5.3 minutes. That's a 54% improvement in warm-up time. So there you have it. The results clearly show that Coolant Boost has your system protected from cold startup all the way up to extreme operating environments. For more information on this test, check out the link below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.